All right, my fellow dip-loving connoisseurs of fine uh, snuff products, I want to introduce you to my personal favorite, which is extra wintergreen. The reason it's uh, my favorite is because it it was developed to be much more like tobacco. So when we originally came out with our wintergreen uh, mint and cinnamon, uh, they, they were good flavors, okay? They were good alternative. They still are today, but they didn't comp contain a lot of the tobacco notes. And so I developed this uh, extra wintergreen, which to this day is still my favorite. Uh, if I'm gonna do a, a, a loose cut, because this is for professionals. And so this product, uh, is much, much more complex than our original wintergreen and its flavors. It is a fine cut, okay? Why is it a fine cut? Because when these products came out, that's all there was is fine cuts. And so so that, that means it's, it's harder to use, okay? That's why I said it's for professionals, okay? So if you feel like you're a professional and you love a good wintergreen, a, a flavor, aroma, with a deep notes, dark notes, high notes, and everything in between in the flavor profile, this is for you. So let's let's get a dip or two. Mm -hmm. And so you've got, you know, the rich burly, you've got the fire cured part of the tobacco in there because this is for professionals. So if you're a professional dipper, this might be the product right here. Now look at this right here. Mm. Black, rich, flavor just coming out of everywhere. And of course, you know, the, most, the very first thing everyone does is, and the way I like to smell stuff is I cut my hand and I smell it like that. That way I get the full aroma of it <clears throat> because this is for professionals. People complain about it floating, and it can float, okay? But if you will, if you know how to do it, then it just packs over there so nice. You can give it just a little time, then you can actually swap it from side to side, just like regular dip. I, I was a school chewer coming up. Actually, I go back so far, I'm so dead gum old, mm, that uh, there was a product Happy Days. Mm. It was a, and it was the forerunner to some of the Skull products, and there was a Happy Days Mint, and when that went off the market, uh, they they came out with, I, I swapped over to Skull Original, which is all they had. Back then, you just didn't have all that many stuff, and they came it came in paper cans and all that. So I go way back, 